Today is day two of the wake on Long Island for slain police officer Jonathan Diller. Uh, Governor Kathy Hochul expected to pay her respects today. Meanwhile, the suspects in the case could be indicted by a grand jury as early as today. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate from, has more from Massapequa Park. Another somber day as final goodbyes continue as the city bids farewell to Officer Diller, who was tragically killed in the line of duty, doing the job that he loved during what should have been a routine traffic stop. Yesterday, scenes of sadness all around as hundreds poured inside the Massapequa Park Funeral Home, a strong show of support from the department as a sea of blue flooded streets before paying their respects to a fallen officer, devoted husband, father, and friend. For Diller's supervisor, he hopes his brother and sisters in blue will bridge the gap for this family. We need to be strong because if we're not strong, then we need to be there for the family. He used to come into work. He used to show us pictures every day. A new picture of his son, we FaceTiming and talking on the phone and stuff like that. And he was just so proud, so proud of his family. Among the hundreds that packed inside this Nassau County funeral home, former President Donald Trump, he shook hands with NYPD Police Commissioner Eddie Caban moments before he paid his respects, spending some time inside with Diller's widow and family. As hundreds mourn, the alleged cop killer Guy Rivera was arraigned yesterday at his bedside on the charge of murder of a police officer, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. 41-year-old Lindy Jones, the other suspect now in police custody, was charged the day prior with criminal possession of a weapon and possession of a defaced gun. Both suspects are being held without bail. As both suspects are officially charged, it's likely that they will be indicted by a grand jury as early as today. Meantime, here at the funeral home, we expect Governor Kathy Hochul to be among the mourners. Tomorrow, a funeral service will take place before this officer is laid to rest. That's the very latest in Massapequa Park this morning. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.